So in this video I'll be showing you how to convert your Windows 10 upgrade to an ISO file. So before we start the video, remember that if you have any problems, remember to head over to bellasetdips.com rather than creating a YouTube comment. So for a limited time, Microsoft are offering a free Windows 10 upgrade for Windows 7, Windows 8 and 8.1 users. So if you haven't got your Windows 10 reservation yet, Remember to click on the Windows flag in the bottom right taskbar of your computer. So once the upgrade is available, you'll be able to download it using the pop-up icon as shown on this Windows 7 installation here. So in this video, I'm using a copy of Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. And I've upgraded from an older version of the build to the current version, which is 10.130. But this will work exactly the same for the official version of Windows 10. So in order to make the Windows 10 ISO file, you'll need to make sure that you have the hidden files view on. And if you don't have it on or you don't know, then go over to the Cortana search menu and type in control panel. And go to the file explorer options here. Go to view and then make sure that show hidden files and folders and drives is ticked there. So once you've done this you'll need to make sure that you do the following steps as soon as you upgrade otherwise they won't work. So straight after you've upgraded and you boot into Windows 10 for the first time head over to your local C drive by going to this PC local disk C and you'll then see the Windows BT folder and you'll only see that if you've enabled the hidden folders view. So go into there and in here will be the installation files for Windows 10. So as you can see they're not actually here on this particular build and the reason for that is because they actually get deleted when the system performs a cleanup. So make sure you go into this folder before it does the cleanup and then inside the sources folder you'll find another load of files and you're looking for one called install.esd. Now that's actually a file that's been deleted within the cleanup, however I have copied it over before the video into this folder called source. And that's the file you need in order to create the Windows 10 ISO. So if you didn't manage to get your ESD file in time from the sources folder, the non-release of Windows 10, you'll probably find that they're also available online. So if we close this window now and put this here, and there's one more tool that you need in order to create the ISO file. As you can see, this is an ESD image and it contains everything we need for uh, the Windows 10 ISO file to be made. However, we need a few additional tools in order to convert it to an ISO file. So if you head over to your web browser, so I'm going to use Spartan in this case, and as soon as your web browser is opened, we're then going to go to the following web address. And that is shown on screen now. So if we go to www.benestechtips.com forward slash go forward slash ESD decryptor and press enter. And you'll be sent to OneDrive where you'll be able to download the following folder. So if we download that to the same folder as our source image. And it's going to download it. And copy this ESD decryptor file that we've just downloaded to the source directory which is on the desktop and paste it there. Now you won't be able to extract this file without having 7-zip installed so if we go to uh, Google and type in 7-zip and download it from the official site. So we're going to download the 64-bit version because we're running the 64-bit version of Windows 10. Let that download. Once it's downloaded, we're going to install it by running it. Go through the setup wizard. Install 7-zip. And click finish. So as you can see on this ESD decryptor, we're going to right click and go to 7-zip and extract uh, the files here. So that's going to extract the files onto the source folder. So once you've extracted those files, you need to make sure that install.asd is in the same folder as the decrypt uh, file here. And once it is, we're going to right click on decrypt and run as administrator. 
So here you can see the ESD decryption script and you can see there's a few different options and we're going to use the first one which is create full ISO with standard install.win. There is also a option for create ISO with compressed install.asd and also a standard install.win. But since we're going to create the full ISO we're going to go for option 1. So it's found the install.asd image in here and it's going to start extracting the files out of that image and creating a WIM file and once it's created that file it's going to put it into an ISO file then once we've got the ISO file we can copy it to another location to keep it safe or we could burn a DVD. So this script will take around 10 or 15 minutes to run So once this tool has finished making the ISO file, you'll notice it says done at the bottom and press any key to exit. So if we press any key and it will close. So as you can see it's created a ISO file here and that is 3.8 gig in size. So as you can see it's used my language here along with the build number of your Windows 10 installation. So you can now copy that file to a safe location or you can also burn it to a DVD in case you need to reinstall in the future. So as you can see I've just booted up the DVD with the ISO file I created just to prove that it works successfully. If you have any problems with this video please head over to benstechtips.com and post a thread there rather than creating a YouTube comment. Thanks for watching, please like, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.